Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be doing a challenge and this is for all you part-timers. I'm going to show you how to make over a hundred pounds in your lunch break. So I've got an hour because that's how long a lunch break usually is uh, to get over a hundred pounds in profit. After I've picked up all the stuff I'll go back home, show you what it is. Part-timers do find it hard to, you know, get out there. You know, if they're working full-time and they want to go and source, it's a bit hard for them, so they end up doing it the weekend. This is showing that you can do it in your lunch break and do it like a couple of times a week and get you actually picking done within the week and then have your weekends off for rest and family time. So it's coming up to half past, so we're going to start at half past. So I've got until half 11. So let's get out there. We've got eight charity shops. So let's do it and see what we can find. One shop down onto the next one. Six ninety nine. Oh, absolutely. Dick. Uh, well, well, this is a little trip travel case. Got the key. And you always get a free, free honest. Got the code. So if I don't think something suits people, I will say so. Oh, that's Four ninety-nine. Oh yeah, I'm going to look Oh, this is nice. Look at that. It's two quid. Thirteen to fourteen. Oh, it's got to be worth at least ten to fifteen. So what have we got up here? Oh, vintage mouse trap. This is a nineteen eighties, like late eighties, nineties one. How much do they want for it? Three quid. If all the bits are there, you're looking at least twenty quid. And it's in mint condition. Oh, let's have a look. Oh. What do we have here? <laughs> Asics for three quid. Dynamic Duro Max. They're not the top top ones. But you're looking around 25 quid for three quid. Absolute bargain. But the insoles are not there and there's a massive hole. So. Gonna leave then. Anyway, it's just past 11 o'clock. Um, I've got three more charity shops to go. Haven't hit that total yet, but these ones usually do give me something quite good. What's this? Oh, vintage backgammon, five quid. Estrella. There is no sold to this one, but a chess set is looking around 30, 40 quid. So I might give this one a shot. There's a laptop, laptop bag. Oh, this is quite a good make. One of these is sold, but not as big as this for 22 quid. So you're looking about 25 quid. No way. How much are these? No. Six pound. These are steel. They're size nine. It's just coming up to 25 past. You can see um, on my phone, well you can't, but there's some a screenshot of my time. Um, yeah, gonna go back home now and see what we've got, how much I've made, and see if I've hit that 100 pound total. Back home now, uh, I'm gonna show you what stuff I picked up. I did actually pick up something else, but I didn't show it on the video. It's like, when you know when you're walking out of the charity shop and you just spot something, which you didn't see because it was, behind the door, it was something like that. Um, but I didn't film it, so I can't have you lot saying, ah, you got it from a different thing. So showing you all the things I bought today, you know, the last thing, which is the thumbnail, is probably the best thing I picked up, but there's a problem with that. So let's see if we still made over a hundred pound today. I'll we'll start off with this. This is actually pretty cool. There's not many comps, you know, with stuff like this. 
you know, there's so many different things. It's hard to find them. But Sports Direct, all the shops are still selling this. So it is a new top. Um, don't know what it's meant to be. It looks like some sort of like sports kids top. It is a kid's 13 to 14 year old. But like I said, I only picked it up for two quid. It's an absolute bargain. At the moment, they're on sale in Sports Direct for £22 brand new. This is obviously not brand new. So I could sell this for at least 15 quid. There's no reason why this can't be sold for 15 quid. Thing is, all the stuff I bought today can be sold on Vinted as well. So the profit, especially if you're part-time, I would personally sell all this stuff on Vinted um first and then put it on ebay as well after because obviously no fees so you're going to make more profit if you sell it on vinted the next item is this it's a trap like vanity suitcase it's got the key it's got the code it is absolutely beautiful inside trap i've never heard of them but ones which are not hard cases are selling for anything between 20 to 25 pound this is a hard case one so it in theory, it should be worth a lot more. Um, you probably, I'm going to put it on for about £25, maybe 30 because it's just a hard case, but it is in really nice condition. Next is this. At the moment, I'm just picking up Paw Patrol vehicles. This is all working. The only thing that's missing is obviously Marshall, and it comes with a little trampoline. Um, Everything else is there. It's got the two water cannon like balls which fire out somewhere. But this boxed, if this is boxed, you're looking around 40 to 50 quid because it can it'd be brand new. At this state, with one thing missing, I can sell this. It will go literally on the same day I list it if I put it on for £20. But most of them are selling between 20 to 25 pound i was looking for some like little figures but i can't find any so i will be looking throughout the week when uh, i go try to shopping again for a little marshall figure because that will just sell it even more the next is a mouse trap and this is complete i have got another mouse trap an older one and when I check this out, everything is there, except for the elastic band, but elastic band is nothing. I've got elastic band. And the ball, which is that one, was missing. I have got another like mouse trap, like I said, and it had the ball. So I took that one out of there and put it in there because the other mouse trap had loads of bits missing. This sells for £25 all day long, and I picked it up for £3. The next item is this. I've never heard of the company Targus. It's a leather briefcase slash laptop. It's more of a laptop briefcase. Um, it's got so many compartments and inside is beautiful. It's got so many things. Um, really, really good quality. It's a leather one as well. Um, like I said, I did see one on sales for £25, but it was a thinner version. This is a lot thicker so this easily will get 25 pound but i probably can push this for 30 35 i don't know but if i want a quick sale like i said put it on for 25 and it will be gone the next item is this and this is a vintage black gammon set i've checked all the pieces they are all there but the make I did research, couldn't find the actual Black Gammon one, but the chess ones sell for between 20 to 30 pound. But most vintage Black Gammon sets seem to sell for around that price as well. So I should get about 25 pound. It might be a bit of a slow sale, but 25 quid, like I said, all these things I can stick on vintage anyway. But the last item is this. These were the last find of the day and I went hmm let's have a look at them and then when I went like that I went no way Dr Martins and I checked the price and obviously I saw the six pounds and I was like why are they selling these for six pound you know Dr Martins these are not as desirable obviously as the boots still can fetch a good price um these were a size nine as well but checking on the description 
I couldn't find it because one has that code and then the other one has a different code. They are both real, but they're both two different shoes. One is a tiny little bit bigger. Um, it might be just the year difference, you know, the age. One might be a bit older than another. But yeah, I'm gonna take these back tomorrow because I can't sell them because you can tell by the back where one's got like this suede leather bit um, near the heel and that one hasn't. They just, they, I think they are the same shoe, but just different um, years when they was made. But yeah, bit good, but not that good because they don't actually fetch that much. I mean, six quid is still a good um, purchase for these, but they set, sell for about 30 to 35 quid. So I can't add this to the total because I'm taking them back. Like I said, this is probably more of a video for part-timers, people who want to earn a little bit more money um, or haven't got as much time to go out like I can every single day. This is basic, a slow pick for me. You know, I would usually pick a lot more on this because I would spend a lot more time out, but for the time amount, the hour, it's still some good picks. Sometimes you can pick more, sometimes you can pick less. One thing I would say about if you're doing this part-time and you've got an hour in your lunch break is make sure wherever you go, it's somewhere where it's close to your work, obviously, because you need to get back to work, but also a good selection of shops. There's no point traveling one shop, then traveling in the car for about five, 10 minutes to another shop and then doing it because you're not going to be able to get much in that time. You want to go in like a street what I was in where you got like about six, seven shops. I know not every place has that, but like I said, if you work in a city center, there's going to be at least five or six shops in your city center or your town center. So just go around in that hour and you could pick up over a hundred quids worth of stuff, maybe more, maybe less, but it's worth doing because you never know what you're going to find. In total, I spent 32 pound, 99p but obviously i'm taking them shoes back and so that's six pound back off so i've actually spent 26 pound 99p in total profit if i was selling all this on vinted take off all the items what they cost you're looking around 113 pound so yes i've just made over 100 pounds in an hour but Obviously, if you're selling on eBay, you're not going to make £130 because you have to take off fees and post them packaging. So you're probably, you might just scrape £100, but I doubt it would probably be more like the 90 quid mark, maybe. It all depends on what you want to price it. You're making over £100 in an hour, and that's really good. Not many places you can make £100 in an hour. And remember, if you are part-time, that's an extra £100 in your pocket. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do another one of these, let me know. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you again with another video soon. Goodbye.